friends, family, relatives, everybody who's listening to, the, to my voice. Today, uh, we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. And today, we are you, are you speaking to me? Uh, I'll, I'll do this one. You can do the next okay. one. Okay. It's uh, lockdown number 19. Is that correct? Yes, I think it's 19. Day yes. number 19. Lockdown. <laughs> well, Welcome. Probably day number 19. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure it's day number 19. Probably yes. Yesterday was day number 18. That's number right. 19, yeah. Yes. And today, and today, I just want to encourage you. It's actually Easter. While we're in this lockdown, don't waste the time. That's right. Don't waste the time. It's easy to sit at home and rust Doing away, yeah, yeah. get fraught yes, and dusty right. and full that's of cobwebs. Right. Absolutely. And what we need to do, we need to make the most of the time in Jesus' that's name. Right. I just want to read to you a story. Uh, well, not a story, it was an actual event from Luke chapter 10 and verse 38. And it says there from verse 38, Now it happened as they went that they entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, mm -hmm. and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away That's from right. her. Amen. So Martha, Martha got distracted with, with preparing drinks and refreshments yes. for them. And she was busy in the kitchen. But Mary, she chose to sit at Jesus' feet right. and listen to his Amen. word. Listen to what Jesus had to say That's to right. her. And the Bible says that uh, Jesus said, but one thing is needed and Mary has chosen that. You see, we need to sit at the feet of Jesus. Amen. We need to sit at his feet yes. and fellowship with him right. and adoration of him, Absolutely. expressing our love for him and listening to his every Thank word you, spoken That's into right. our lives. Yes. Amen. That's what we need to do. That's right. And then Jesus said, and she has chosen right. That's right. So you've got freedom of choice. Yes. You can choose to do it or you can just leave it. That's right. Right. Now we're in lockdown, we can't get to church, we enjoy the videos of the church service and all the rest of it and all the scriptures and, 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 and all the popular sayings that people are sharing on the social media. Right. But the thing is, are we really spending time with Jesus? We That's need to right. make the time most of this. Yes. We need to make yes. the most of this to spend right. good quality time Amen. with Jesus. And, uh, Jesus. and I'm going to read to you now from Galatians chapter 6 quickly. You know these videos are short so we don't want to take up too much of your time. But in Galatians chapter 6 and from verse 6 it says, Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Then it goes on to say in verse 7, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked That's for right. whatever a man sows That's right. that he will also reap. That's right. That he will also reap. Whatever he sows, whatever he sows. Mm -hmm. If you sow complacency, you'll reap complacency. Right. You see, it's no good complaining at God. God never answers my prayer. I never seem to get my breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I never seem to know where I'm going. That's I wish right. God would speak to me That's right. when you're not prepared to sit at his feet. That's right. And you need to sit at his feet a lot. Lee, Lee and myself, we spent all this time on the lockdown doing these videos, preparing our messages, right. praying, breaking bread. Right. We haven't wasted our time. That's we have right. times where we it. just relax our souls that's and right. refresh our souls, Absolutely. but we keep on feeding our spirit that's all the right. time. And that's what you need to do. Yes. So be encouraged. During this lockdown, sit at the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Meditate on what he has to say that's to you. Right. Meditate on his word. That's Speak right. to him and pray to him. Let your relationship grow stronger right. during these difficult times. And you'll be surprised how quickly these difficult times pass right. and how Absolutely. you get your breakthrough yes. during these difficult times. Amen. Is that okay? In Jesus' name. That's what Amen. I'm doing. Amen. I encourage you Amen. to do the same. Yes. Amen. Encourage yourself in God's word. 
encourage yourself in, in, in his presence and just enjoy the lockdown time uh, listening to the Spirit of God. And what is the Spirit of God telling you today? He might give you some instructions to obey and obey it so that the blessing of the Lord be upon you in Jesus' mighty in name. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. And so now, as always, we're going to break bread. It's important for us to do this yeah. on a daily basis in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So we lift up the, the, the matzah, the bread, and, uh, and we thank the Lord thank for his you. body in Jesus' name that it was broken for us. Yeah. For our healing, yes, yes. for our deliverance, yes, for our sanctification in Jesus' name. And we just declare, we just declare that we are healed, we are healed. because of the stripes that fell on his back That's right. Thank in you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. We Thank declare you, today Jesus. that Bridget is healed mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. We declare today that Kingsley is that's healed right. Amen. in Amen. Jesus' Amen. name. And anybody else that's watching this video, mm -hmm. place your hand on that part of your body where you need healing yes. and confess that's right. your healing today you, in Lord. Jesus' Thank name. You, Let's Jesus. eat together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We declare this morning that Marion is healed. That's right. Amen. Her eyesight is restored. We declare this morning that Mark is healed. In Jesus' name. We declare this morning that Joseph is healed. Amen. And I'm sure there's many more of you out there. Just lift your hands towards this broadcast and declare your healing. In Jesus' name. Now the cup. Let's take the cup and hold it up. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for your blood. Your life is in your blood. And we thank you, Lord, your shed thank blood you, has removed and remitted every sin you, out of our lives, past, present, and future. We thank you because of your blood that was shed for us. We are sanctified. We are saved. We are born thank again. You, in Jesus' mighty name, we have eternal life. In the name of Jesus, let's drink together. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, until the next time. God bless, and I just want to correct something. I think this video is tomorrow's video, which is day 20. That's right. So it's not just it's Lee. pre recorded. It's not just Lee that thinks she's in day three. I'm so confused. I don't know whether it's day Arthur or day Martha. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Till Have the next time. Day. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty bye name. Bye bye. Amen.